Hello, back again from NAB Show. Today with me is Alex Kataoka, the product manager of Edius. And yeah, finally again NAB Show. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels great to be back to the show and it's great to see that people coming back to these venues. Um, yeah, it's a great experience. Yeah, and the interest is high. We see a lot of people around here at the Gris Valley booth. We see that Gris Valley has a focus now on the AMP solution, so the Agile Media Production or Processing Platform. And um, yeah, there is some news from the Edius side as well for that. Yes, so at the show, uh, we are showing um, Edius support for AMP. Um, in detail, we're supporting the Framerite X uh, plugin to support the AMP assets and editing them directly in Edius. Yeah, and we have shown that before that um, it's possible to get connected to AMP, but uh, one big wish from many customers was that they could use the web editor, which is an editor which basically works uh, in HTML5, so in a browser, and accesses the, the AMP system. And if you start a project there, so you, which is a basic editor, so you have some so you have some tracks, you have audio, you can do um, some, some video effects as well. If there's a chance to continue a project which you start in the browser, then later with Edius. Yeah, so the new feature that we're showing here is the ability to bring in uh, the projects coming from the web editor. You can drop them in into the Edius timeline as a sequence clip, and when you double click it, you see the whole edit uh, coming directly from the web editor. So that's really cool and I think many people have been waiting for that functionality because it really allows you to, to continue um, in a very easy way. Uh, it's just really a, like a double click on the, on the, on the um, sequence. And when, when you're in Edius, you have all the functions from Edius. We, are also, we have been doing some presentations here showing what you can do um, yeah, compared to the web editor. Um, with edios like motion tracking or additional effects, working with more layers, and people really like that. And um, yeah, then when when you have edited the project in edios, what do you do then with AMP? So after your editing, you can export back to AMP, and the clip will be registered into AMP as an AMP clip, or you can send the export out to a playout for playout for various purposes. Yeah, so it's really completely integrated in the AMP workflow. And this is a very important information also for those customers who has been, have been uh, working in the past with Stratus, right? Because right now there is not a support for Stratus for Edius 10, but now we have support for AMP in Edius 10, and so there is a way to come from Stratus to AMP and from Edius 9 to Edius 10. Yes. So. AMP also supports having Stratus as a underlayer. Yeah. So the current Stratus customers can have sort of like an AMP uh, umbrella covering the current assets and the systems that they own. So that will be, and by providing this AMP plugin for ADUS 10, this will provide the functionality for ADUS 10 to support Stratus contents too. Yeah. So it's great for those customers who are working like in, in big um, yeah, companies and in newsrooms, um, television, uh, who have many seats, who have those big systems. But um, what, what would people do who like, would like to work like, together and they don't have like, the same amount of money or yeah, the same business? Is there a chance to have like, the, the opportunity to have something like AMP or a media asset management on the Edius platform? So we have been uh, talking from the beginning of Edius 10 of a new architecture of Edius called the Edius Hub, yeah. which provides a base database platform for managing uh, contents between Edius and Mink clients. So this provides a uh, support for sharing clips and also sharing Edius projects between uh, multiple Edius and Mink systems. I think we already gave uh, like a preview at uh, IBC show on that technology. So this is something which has been growing. We see that I think the same kind of technology which is working in the background is, is now used for the integration into AMP. And 
this technology yeah, is something which probably in the future more people will be able to use? So we hope to provide sort of like a compact uh, sharing solution where multiple editors and uh, multiple um, Mink viewers can share contents and clips and that would be a more sort of a affordable compact approach for those uh, small scale solutions. So this is not an official product announcement but it gives an idea that in the future we will see something like a new product which allows Edu's editors, Mink users to connect in the same network? So we already have this Edius Hub released to some customers, but we plan to productize this to a more, uh, how do you say, um, easier to provide, easier to set up a uh, system where uh, system integrators and customers can build by themselves. Well, that sounds really cool. Um, I guess many customers who have like, yeah, two, three, four, five seats using Edius, they would really ha like to have such a system because um, yeah, working together, sharing metadata, sharing markers, sharing comments, tags on, on video footage or media files, that is obviously something which is very, very useful when working together. So that's, that's a good outlook. And uh, yeah, maybe with this outlook, I say uh, thank you, Alex, for this, um, yeah, future plans and uh, again it's not yet a product announcement but some something is coming yes hopefully in the near future okay so enjoy your nab show all the best thank you very much